lovelies, and welcome back to Sundering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 14th of January, 2023. I'm going to be using the Tarot of Pirates again today. I do believe this is the third day in a row. Let's see what energy you guys are working with. Remember, right, this is a day that, uh, astrology-wise, is a day to work on issues and clear out blockages. So let's see what comes up. Ancestors, Angel, Spirit, Guides, Patuka, Guide Me. What does the collective need to know for the 14th of January, 2023? And that definitely came out fine. Spirit, did you want reverse? Reverse. Okay, they want this in the reverse. We have the Magician, the Queen of Chalices, the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, all in the reverse. Ooh. And the King of Chalices. So we do have the Queen and King of Chalices, the King and Queen of Cups. So that is a match set. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Justice card. Ooh, Judgment. of cups the stars which is star card the ten of pentacles and sorry that actually went clear onto the floor i'm going to rearrange a little bit because apparently they want to give you lots of cards again today it seems to be a running theme Temperance, Ten of Chalices reversed, the Knight of Chalices reversed. Okay, that's apparently all they wanted. So, we do have Major Arcana in here. One, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana. Let me see. One, two, three court cards. You do have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and Judgment, if you think about it, is a double ten. So beware your synchronicities. I will say hmm, power and the power that you have plays in this. This deck, um, Justice, is the 8th card, not the 11th. And we have the 8 of Swords right here. So that's almost an 888. Okay. So you might be feeling a little down, a little upset 
with your circumstances with the magician and the the queen of chalices in the reverse but the thing about this is you're not stuck you have the eight of swords in the reverse you are not stuck despite um feeling that you may not have a lot of opportunities or a lot of connection with things part of that is that um mercury retrograde and the shadow period after mars retrograde there's still kind of a, a disconnect it's not jiving all the way quite yet hence why we have um the two of pentacles you're, you're having to juggle the energy quite a lot a lot of things are going on and trying to find balance um, to stay grounded still might be a little difficult for a lot of you could kind of feel like you're a bit of a yo-yo where one day it's okay and one day it's chaotic and back and forth back and forth back and forth and you may not know what to make of it quite yet um and you are literally asked to find balance yet again two of pentacles justice judgment um yeah asked to find balance to find your footing and more importantly you have the six of cups right here so to learn from the past in other words what have you learned so far and part of this i i'm gonna have to say is how you feel about things just because of how this ends um six of cups called to learn from the past especially with the energy the way it is there is hope with the star card right here which i will show you a little bit closer for those that are not familiar with this deck because the ultimate thing is happiness this ten of pentacles how we want our life to look like. So learning from your past and trying to balance it out and look to the future to get that Ten of Pentacles is paramount. And the reason why I say finding your footing and balancing things out, you have the Temperance card. So yet again, Two of Pentacles, Justice, Temperance. You have more than one card here that says Balance. So balancing out what you put in and what you learn and how you feel about it is, is everything. Because feeling down on your luck and having to juggle and learn what doesn't make you happy, what doesn't serve, what doesn't feel like a, an opportunity what isn't working for you and then trying to transmute that because we have the um ten of cups reverse and our knight of cups knight of chalices reverse so that's what you're trying to to balance out not being stuck but feeling like you have no opportunity while still having hope for that future that ten of pentacles even when things don't look bright. It's kind of how do I want to word that? Spirit, how do I want to word that? I'm getting something about a light in the dark. What? Hold on just a sec. Oh, okay. It's about having a light in the dark and being able to walk towards it despite being uncomfortable in the dark. If that makes sense. Things are not always bright, um, cheery, and part of that is our perspective. 
because remember our eight of swords is in the reverse so we're not as stuck as we think we are but our perspective versus reality are two different things and when that's in conflict when that's out of balance we get exactly what we think which is this ten of chalices the the knight of cups in the reverse remember what you think about you bring about so when we think we literally can't create anything we're right so to bring our reality our perspective and to see things on the brighter side to follow that light in the dark is exactly what we're being asked to do that is our hope that is our north star that is what we're after and the only way to do that is to bring balance be grounded learn from the past and hope for this future have hope and go through a transformation have that rebirth towards our happiness right here with the ten of pentacles so if you are having trouble of seeing that light in the darkness remember sometimes you are the light for a lot of you the light you need to follow is your higher self and the only way you can connect is if you are stable enough to bring clarity in order to connect with it it's where that disconnection I'm feeling is coming in and a lot of chaotic energy with retrogrades will interfere with that I'm just gonna double check um, there is quite a bit here Let me double check my numbers just to make sure that I've got them right. Oh, okay. Yeah, if, if my math is correct, everything adds up to 110 which one and one is two. Um, two is relationships and connection. Like I said, there, there's that disconnect and that relationship with your higher self is paramount. That is your guiding light. If you can listen to it, that's the light in the darkness that I'm getting. Okay, that actually works out fabulously. All right, my lovelies, if any of this resonated for you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.